Hey guys, Takamasak here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 5! Last time we destroyed Gyro Man, so let's put his abilities to use against Crystal Man! Who has flashy balls. That's... I'll just leave that where it was. Right. Now these guys, let's just uh, shoot the ball there on top. If you destroy just the base, the ball will go flying off in whatever direction it was moving. Like that. And not only that, destroying the top portion, portion, yeah, <laughs> the top portion also destroys the bottom part, so no real reason not to destroy it. Easy enough to shoot. There we go. Now obviously if you get hit by these falling crystals, you will fall to your doom. So just try to jump right behind it. It does give you enough of a gap to uh, jump between them. But there are longer gaps if you want to just wait and observe the pattern if you're not feeling brave, but it gives you plenty of time, in my opinion, just to jump between them there. Hey, buddy. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure he's the first one we've met up with there. He can drop almost anything. I don't think he drops M-Tanks, but he can drop anything else. And I believe it's completely random of what he does drop, so... Uh, these guys are invulnerable, as you saw, when they are flashing. Uh, plus, their little crystal shot there that they shoot will block your charge shots if you don't charge it or uh, don't shoot it correctly. A little bit of a pain, but nothing we can't handle. I think they only take three shots or so, but just something else I, well, I was gonna say prefer to get rid of with a charge. Shot. Come on, oi! There we go. What the hell is that? Beware the evil brusher with a vent on top. For it will brush you and you will be sparkly after... I don't know where they're going with that one. Oh boy. The designers of Mega Man games. Really can't go wrong, honestly. Now we've run up with these guys in many other... Mega Man games, but uh, once again, just in case you're new, shoot him from behind. Hello. Oh. Easy enough to grab E-Tank. Jump in the middle, and then just keep walking here to avoid those guys. Oh! Alright, now... Yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to... I use a little robot energy here. I have to to get... Oh, I'll show you. Uh, with the mice here, you're going to want to use a charge shot. If you come up here, no. you can grab an empty tank there. Let's see if I can find enough energy here to recharge it. You'll see why. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this just for the sake of, of showing it off when I can. I got my energy back. Another little tricky spot here. Now fall about straight down and then hug left as soon as you can to grab the V. Yeah, that should put me at max everything there. Alright, so now, now what I'm going to do, now that everything is full and I have an M-Tank, I'll show you what you can do if you don't want to uh, use it just to fill up everything. Like in this instance, everything is full. So if I use it, you hear the 1-Up sound, and all the enemies that were on the screen will turn into 1-Up. So that's one thing ooh, you could do with that might be in your best interest just to save it. However, uh, the password system in Mega Man 5 does not save how many M tanks or E tanks you have. All it saves is which robot masters you've defeated and which letters you've collected. So you'll have to start with zero M tanks and zero E tanks. But you can farm them as much as you want uh, for the most part. Whenever you see Crystal Man jump, he's going to let loose some crystal eyes, which are very tough to avoid. Other than that, he... Oh, he... oh! Oh, thought I was so smooth. And I'm taking way more damage than I normally do. Yeah, otherwise he just uses his regular bullet when he jumps about half up there. I made it look harder than it actually is, trying to talk and play at the same time. Never really works out so well. But yeah, like I was saying, you could come right back into Crystal Man stage and grab that M tank again if you really felt like it. But there's a better spot we can do that 
a little later in the game. So, But defeating Crystal Man, we get his Crystal Eye. Uh, also, Continue will put you right back in his stage if you so choose to do that. But let's keep moving. Let's go to Napalm Man. Oh, really? That, you don't look very intimidating. Oh, well, what can you do about it? Now, we do want to keep charged up through the first initial section here, because these tigers are painful. Uh, shoot a little above them, and then they'll just jump right into your blast. Oy. And I believe they'll jump at you as soon as either you get close or you fire at them. So, there we go. But yeah, I think you can only survive five hits from those guys. Just be a little careful with them. Okay. And you can destroy the projectile that he shoots out, but, well, you have to be on the same plane. As well. And these are instant death spikes, so just take your time through here. Uh, you should be just fine. Couple more. Couple more. Alright. Get going here. And... Ooh. A fairly poorly hidden secret. Enough. Now this is a lot like Toad Man stage here. You have the current and this annoying guy. Oh, who always murders me. This guy could be a problem. Let's get the gravity hold out. Excuse me. Oh, almost fell to my death right there. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, I should be okay there. Um. Oh. Well. I should have been, okay, except for the fail. There's another one of those jerks up here. Oh! Oh! No, oh, game. Go away. Yeah, as those guys are flying up, you can't take damage from them, because they're pretty much considered dead, so... Eh, a little late with that. Let's keep moving. Okay. And this guy, you do have to shoot in the face, but he doesn't take too many shots. Hey. Kind of feels like something else we fought. I can't remember. Nah, whatever. Uh, the end here, very simple. Just pull to the left. You'll fall right in there. Hey. No. Hey, buddy. I want that. Not that I really need it at this point. Uh, once again, nine is the maximum amount of lives you can pull. Oh. Now there are more. Oh! No! Oh! Oh, no! Ow! I thought I was so smooth, but I thought wrong. I just drop slowly here. Slide off. Easy enough. Oh! Alright. Now these things are indestructible, so just be careful with the remainder of the jumps. I may fall level here. Stress relief, I suppose. I, I don't know what they are. And for whatever reason, there isn't one in the end. And if you thought we had to use Crystal Eye, you'd be absolutely right, sir. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, he always starts off with the same attack. He'll shoot three rockets, and there are two things that the Crystal Eye can... Oh, that was a fail. Now, what you want to do with him is just walk away or slide away uh, when he shoots his little uh, his napalm grenades. Uh, what I was going to say, with the uh, crystal eye, if you don't hit him with the main one, uh, it will break apart and bounce into three pieces. Now, you can use it that way to conserve a little bit of energy, but you do have to wait for all of the crystal eyes to either hit something or dissipate on their own, which I don't like. I just prefer to shoot him uh, with the original one, but I suppose it's nice that if you do miss him, well, you have a potential to hit him three times. Yeah, once again, I made him look a little harder than he is, trying to talk through it. And for defeating Napalm Man, we get Napalm Bombs! Hooray! All right, let's keep moving here. Now let's put that to use against Stone Man! <laughs> what is that? Roar! Kind of looks like one of the Gollum guys against, or, uh, in the Dragon Quest series. 
Wait. I was hoping we could find some tools. It's been way too long. Or not long enough. Yeah, just a little more tedious than Mega Man 5 compared to the other games. At least it's not the giant one again. Gotta hate that one. Hey! Open up! Thank you. Just what I needed. And no, by the way, there is no such uh, cool secret for uh, using your E-Tanks on full energy. So just keep that in mind. Blast through here. We can collect a G! Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to find that your first playthrough. What's the chance that you're going to come down here and just start blasting for no reason? Oh, what can you do about it? Hey, no! More of you. I can deal with you at least. Hey, not that. Nope, nope. I do want to get rid of you. And even more one-ups. Now this guy, just because his proximity to the uh, death pit there, I prefer to use gyro on him. There you go. One shot, nails him. And... Yeah, what the hell, let's keep using it here. Hey, buddy. Now, if you're wondering what Napalm's weapon does, it just shoots a little explosive grenade. You can have two out at a time. Well, three out at a time. Eventually, they splow up. Splow up. You know what I'm trying to say. Eventually they explode and do a very small area of effect damage, but meh. Nothing I really care to use. I'm confident enough with mostly the Mega Buster at this point. But feel free during the levels here to use whatever Robot Master energy you want. Except for the one we defeated last. In general, uh, well, we're gonna go through the weakness order. So. Plus, Gyro Attack is pretty good for killing enemies on the ceiling. Uh, let's see, was it this one? Yeah. Come over here, we can get monsters! And yet another M tank. Now, that is the only other one we can collect, so your options are Stone Man Stage or uh, Crystal Man Stage back there. And we have Shield guys again. Yeah. Come on. But yeah, in my opinion, Stone Man stage is the a way to go. Just no, I think it's easier, personally. Crystal Man stage feels like it's a little further in and just a little more tedious to get through. Now, another thing you can do with the gyro attack against these shield guys, you can kind of get above them and then hit them. Oh, for example. There we go. Well, you can definitely hit them when their shields up. Maybe it's... Yeah, it's underneath them. That's what I was trying to do. I know what I'm doing eventually. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's just use regular Mega Buster here. Surprise! And let's see. Now this one is a little bit more tricky. Use that here. And we'll get another one up. There's all sorts of commotion going on outside. Fire truck! Huh. Well, there you have that. Now let's use gravity hold to just get rid of those guys instead of waiting for them. Mechanical tootsie roll there. Yeah, plus you can see you get additional E-tanks, extra lives, you name it, it's in Stone Man stage. So that's another reason I prefer just to sit here and farm on his stage. Now, Rush Jet, unfortunately, still isn't as good as it was in the third game. As soon as you jump on it, it works a lot like Mega Man 4, where you just jump on it and it just moves, so you can walk right off of it if you uh, so desire there. Uh, I might as well fill Napalm. I'm not going to need it, but... Why not? Alright, what do we have left here? Oh, goody! Now, there is a weapon that is actually pretty no, pretty good against these guys, but unfortunately, I don't have that yet. Soon. Very soon. Hey. Urgh. Actually, 
actually... Well, I was gonna say gravity hold. Now let's check just for the sake of checking here. Now if he's up, will it get rid of all of him? Yes, I will! Alright. But yeah, he does have to be up for it to actually hit him there. So. But let's carry on with Stone Man! Or I could just use the M-Tank accidentally. Oh, uh, whatever. I won't be needing it anyway. Hey, that was just a demonstration. That's all that was. Now, Stone Man will release the Power Stone and then just pretty much jump around. Whenever he jumps high, uh, he will break into pieces like that. He really doesn't use the Power Stone a whole lot, so just throw the Napalm Bomb on his head and try to throw it under him. Really nothing to him. One of the easier bosses of Mega Man 5, so... Let us gain his energy and carry on next time on Let's Play Mega Man 5. This is Takama Sok. We're about to gain the Power Stone, and I'll see you later.